hallelujah hallelujah welcome to service welcome to the hour of prayer welcome 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 to the presence of god i want you to lift up your voice this morning begin to pray the language of the spirit I let a woman charge her spirit this morning. Lift up your voice. I want to hear you praying. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. Akane kano prosuta lava. Akaya gada 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 gada. Uli katane keta la. Ila tos kutana na na na. Rada gade 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 kete le 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 le. Aya gaga 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 gaga. Akase terebosha. Marika tabayanda lika tabaraba. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Media, please help me. Isaiah 64 from verse 1. Isaiah 64 from verse 1. Makusha takaya bababa. Radaga zadaga ya bababa. Malakata lekete lelelelelele. E masunda rabo shakata bababa. Isaiah 64 from verse 1 says, Oh, that you would rend the heavens, that you will come down, that the mountains might shake at your presence. Verse 2. Verse 2. As fire burns brushwood, as fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to your adversaries that the nations may tremble at your presence verse 3 when you did awesome things for which we did not look you came down the mountains shook at your presence verse 1 to 3 talks about the presence of God and said, oh, that you would rend the heavens. I don't know why you came this morning. But I want you to lift up your voice and say, Father, rend down your heavens upon us this morning. Even as we God, I want to hear a woman praying that, Lord, you will rend down your heavens upon us this morning. Father, you will rend down your heavens upon us. That the earth will shake. The earth will shake. The earth will tremble. Make your presence known. Make your presence known. Make your presence known. Make your presence known. Make your presence known in our midst this morning. Makusha la kanda la 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 la. Rege de bo suta kaya baba baba. Father, we have come for an encounter. Ila gonda la 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 la. Leke te le 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 le. Like the woman with the issue of blood. Father, we have come to touch the hem of your garment. Akana kashila ganda. Aya baba baba baba. Like blind Bartimaeus this morning. Areke te le 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 le. We have come that you will show us mercy. Aya kata la 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 la. Reke te le 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 le. Aya ya 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 ya. Father, like Peter on the sea, we have come that you will bid us come. Ah, makula kata la la la. That you will bid us come on the water. Ikala kena la 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 la. Ada da 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 da. Ereke ne le 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 le. Makoto kona la 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 la. Aga da 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 da. We have come to declare your lordship. We have 
come to declare your lordship. We have come to declare your lordship. Akasu kataleola. Araga da 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 da. Ashadarama. Egere gere 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 gere. Ayele. Father, rend the heavens over your people. Akaya. In the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 125 says, As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people. As a Nigerian, as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so the Lord is encamped around Nigeria. So the Lord is encamped around your family. So the Lord is encamped around your community. I want you to lift up your voice. Make a declaration. Declare the word of God over Nigeria. Declare the word of God over your community. Declare the word of God over your household. Oh yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. We declare that your kingdom come over this nation, Nigeria. We declare that your kingdom come over our households. We declare that your kingdom come, your will be done. We declare that in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah. Put your hands together as we welcome Linda. Still in the mood of prayers, let's continue to lift up our, our voices on behalf of women. On behalf of women, we are women. We are the beautification of the creation of the Almighty. Ladies, Kopatu, Shanamakurahata. Today, the world sets aside this day to celebrate women. Today is International Women's Day. Rebo Shinamakota. Lord, I celebrate myself as a woman. I celebrate us as women. Jalaboshkaha. Epreskotundu. Ligedebo. Rahatushkaha. Leprezoto. Maruga. We thank you, Lord, for the gifts of womanhood. Matu lahuta ni manduraha. Zelebo shimbarus kahia. Eleke paro shanabahaya. Can we imagine a world without women? Repo sinamahanda. The Lord taught it well in his wisdom. Mirius you to who shanabutahaya. To create a creator like us. Kashanama. Eprekos kutupahanda. Lord, we thank you for our peculiarities we thank you for our wisdom we thank you for the inner strength of a woman we thank you we celebrate you the creation plan the redemption plan was completed by the obedience of a woman we thank you lord we give you all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We'll be reading the book of Revelation chapter 12. I'll start from verse 1. It says, A great sign appeared in heaven. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her foot, and a crown of 12 stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in pain, as she was about to give birth. Then another sign appeared in heaven, an enormous red dragon, with seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns on its head. It still swept a third of the stars out of the sky. Going further down, the Bible says that when, let me just explain because it's a long read. The Bible says that the woman, of course, was pregnant and the dragon had positioned itself, waiting to eat the seed of the woman. And as the woman gave birth, war broke out in heaven and the dragon was set down. And the Bible says, if you read this chapter 12 further down, it says, when the dragon came down, he went to search for the woman who gave birth and her child. Praise the Lord. But the Bible says that the Lord caused the woman to have wings of eagle. 
and to fly out of the danger of the dragon. And the dragon spat out water again, running after the woman. And the Lord says that the earth opened up and swallowed water. Rapush Kahindo Mali Brohota. We are saying because the Lord gives us wings to fly out of evil. Marakata Pashoto in Brohota. The Lord keeps us saying because when the dragon releases the flood in the form of heartache, sickness, in the form of hardship, scarcity, the Lord says the earth opens up and swallows the water. This morning we are evoking the powers in the elements of the earth to defend us. Against the world of the enemy, Renu Zakatosha, Mali Kaparu Zalikatosha, Embregebosha, the dragon running after you, woman. It's not a beast you can fight with your mental state, it's not a beast you can fight with your flesh. Raliga, it has seven horns, seven heads, positioned to destroy you, woman. Refuse to let your seeds be taken out. Malika Pato Suto, Embro Hushkaria Hoto, Ragada Bahaya. The dragon will not feed on my seeds. The dragon will not feed on my territory. I stand as a watchman and I refuse access to the dragon. I will not be the one putting a hedge in my wall. Rila Busca Londolia, Carapato Shana Makurahata, Eke Peke to Shodohiana. Woman resist the enemy. Rakapata, your victory has been. Pray to it, Kalabashana Kuraha, Liga Bada Soto. As a woman, I will not lose my passion. Pray that you will not lose your passion. It is needed for this battle. Nika Petu Sutiha, Lepreketa Parondo Yara Boshkaha, Lepreketandu Yara Haya, Huna Parondo Suto Yara Haya. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for making us women. We thank you for fighting for us. We thank you for reminding us today. Of our power and supremacy of that dragon. We cover our lives through the blood of Jesus. We decree that we'll do only your will. We only stand with your Lord to defeat the enemy. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Be now exalted, for we have prayed confidently in Jesus' mighty name. Let's welcome Auntie Loma. Don't stop praying, Masula, brother, brother, Robo Zokotoro, we came to pray. We came to make power available. Renge de Galaba Zika Talaba. Rata ta 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 brando bo shede la la la. I want a woman to open their mouth and begin to speak in the Holy Ghost. Ri brando zika ta ta ta. Mazebo zika tala brada la la. Re bronde katala bra. Mazuke bala bo shida ba 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 ba. Re ke tala ba ne ke te. In brando zika tala ba. In Jesus' name we are praying. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 18. My people will dwell in a peaceful habitation, in secure dwellings and in quiet resting places. When you look around, everything happening around the world doesn't look like we can have peace. But there's a peace that dwells inside of you, that you can call out and begin to pour out over you Pour out over your family, pour out over your children. And I want us to begin to pray for peace all around. That no matter what is going on, no matter what the devil is throwing at us, that peace that passes every understanding will begin to dwell in us. It will begin to dwell through us. All about us. Peace that passes understanding. Quietness to the voice of the 
eyes will be fixed on the Holy Ghost. That your eyes will be fixed on Christ. On Christ alone. On that cross. On that cross. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the glory. We declare, in spite of everything that is rolling around us, oh, there is peace. We speak peace all about us, all around us, in our homes, everywhere, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. For in Jesus' name we are praying. Let's make welcome our president and father, Pastor O. Come on, do that better for Jesus. Do it better for Jesus. Hallelujah. What a great God. What a great God. Child of God is a month of worship. And there are a lot of things that are happening. There are things that can stop you from worshipping the Lord. There are things that will deliberately put an end to your worship. And one of them is self. Lift up your hands. Now surrender. Tell yourself. Paul said, I buffet my body. I speak to myself. I tell myself, I need to worship God. Somebody begin to tell yourself. Say, I need to worship God. You need to worship God. Tell your body, worship the Father. Masoka papa papa. Rantekebo shiga papa papa. I need to worship the Father. Eketebo shara papa papa. Give a command to your body. Give a command to your body. Ah, this body belongs to God. This body belongs to God. Inanama shata la bosa. Say your lungs, I need to worship God. Say your legs, I need to worship God. Say your hands, I need to worship God. That head that is always giving you a headache, I need to worship God. Oh, is somebody here with me? Aradaba shake it in the bosa. Lekrana mashida baba bahada manose. I need to worship the Lord. My health need to worship the Lord. My life need to worship the Lord. I need grace to bless the name of the Father. Oh Jesus. Oh Lord, we worship you. There's no one like you. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. You are the first and the last, your change of change. Somebody said, I need to worship God. I need to worship you. I need to worship you. Tell him I need to worship you. That my life needs to worship you. My spirit needs to worship you. Everything inside of me needs to worship you.
That's the second thing, pride. Sometimes you don't know that you are proud. Can I give you a sign so that you go home with it? How do you know that you are proud? It's when you think you are humble. Sometimes you just say, I'm humble, you are proud. When you are humble, you don't know. Is somebody listening to me? One of the things that stop you from worshipping God is laziness to pray. And when you are lazy to pray, child of God, it shows that you don't trust God. It shows that you are proud. If you can stay a few days without praying, that means you are depending on yourself. You're telling yourself, I can manage without him. And it's a very dangerous thing that you can do to your life. 